So if we went to that ask a few questions of determine the equation of. And the first one is determine the equation of the large circle. So now they're asking, what is this big circle's equation? Now they don't say like in a specific form. So side note, and what you should know, equation of a circle with the center 0, 0, um, and a radius r. So center 0, 0 just means like center at the origin, like in the middle, okay? And a radius r, like, is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. With that being said, that is on your information sheet. So you don't have to worry too much, but you do know when, like, you do have to know when you have to use it. Then, like, we have the radius as well. So when you look at this circle, you can see, like, that's the big one. This is the radius. This is the radius. But also, OP is the radius. And when we go use Pythagoras on this one, if we draw his line straight up here, oh, that no, doesn't want to write. When we draw the line straight up here, we can use Pythagoras because we know this is 4 and this is 6 units. And with that, we can calculate OP. Okay, so as I did here, now the big circle runs around here. So we have the radius, which is OP squared equals 4 squared plus 6 squared. Because we are using Pythagoras in this one, we're not going to put the negative 6. Okay, And even if we put the negative 6, the square is going to cancel it out. But yeah, it's not necessary because we're using it in this triangle. Okay, so OP squared equals to 52. So the radius squared is 52. Now we need this radius squared for this formula. And then we're just going to substitute it in. Saying x squared plus y squared equals 52 because it's the radius squared. 